have you noticed something different? Yeah, I just got a new camera, which means that we can do stuff like this. And this. I have no idea why we, we would want to use this, but <laughs> sure. Enough of me waffling around as always. In Phasmophobia, we have different sort of curse possessions. But maybe the most intricate on them all? The monkey paw. <laughs> so first of all, let's just talk about what is a curse possession before we get into the monkey paw. So the curse possessions in Phasmophobia are basically seven different supernatural items which are very pow powerful. And they, and they can be used to basically directly interact with the ghost in some different ways depending on what curse possession but today we'll go over the monkey paw and before we get into uh, the complete gathering of monkey paw if you want me to go over all of the rest of the curse possessions of this one drop a like on this video if we hit 30 likes i'll do a video where i cover every single one of the curse possessions okay i just want to start off with the monkey paw because it is so much you can do with it so yeah it needs it needs its separate video do you have a deal good we shake hands on that, yes. As you might notice, before before we get into this, the monkey paw has some very good positive effects, but it has a backside, like everything else. It's like making a deal with the devil if we want to make make it a little bit more dramatic, yeah. But you, you'll notice when we when we get into it, what backside each wish has. So now, let's go. So the monkey paw has a one in seven to be chosen in this sort of a contract, and it always spawns in a set position, so it cannot be random much, which means, you know, when you find it once, you know where, where it will be for every future contract, basically. And it can spawn on any set difficulty, except for insanity. On insanity, no curse possessions can be spawned, yeah. And the monkey paw grants a certain number of wishes, depending on how high or how hard of a multiplayer you're doing. Oh my god, okay, this ghost is going crazy right now, he's <laughs> throwing, throwing paintings, sure. Yeah, okay. But, as you can see here, the entire hand is open of the monkey paw, which means that we have five wishes to be granted. You can see every finger is, like, stretched out, yeah? So from zero to 1.99 times multiplier, the monkey paw will grant you five wishes. As you can see here, you'll have four wishes in a multiplier between two to 2.99, and then on a multiplier from three times to higher, you'll have three wishes. Grant that on your monkey paw. The monkey paw, as all other curse possessions, can only be used inside of the investigation area, of course. And you can either use your voice to activate it if you have a microphone, as I have here. I'll use your voice activation, is quite nice. Or you can do text, text based UI, but it is exactly the same thing as talking to it. You just don't need to talk. <laughs> so, when using the voice chat, the monkey paw will grant any recognized wish to the player holding the monkey paw. And if you use the text-based UI, you will have diff three different categories, and then from that you can go through the wishes. As you can see here, we have three wishes left. For each finger bent, means that one less wish can be granted. And then, there's one, and then there's zero. When there's zero, cannot be used anymore. And the monkey even, even waves a little bit to you. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Look at that, it's very cute. And a little trivia thing about the monkey paw. They can all be found on tags scattered in the sunny meadows. And picking up one of those tags will record that wish in a journal. Cool, right? Yeah? Or in your journal, not, not in a random journal. In your journal, yeah. And the last thing before we go over to the wishes, you can only use one wish per contract. You can't just spam wishes over and over again. Reasonable, right? Yeah. So first of all, we have... I wish to see the ghost. Quite, quite a spicy one. And this wish can be found in the manager's office in Sunny Meadows. So just enter the location and go in here. But on this desk, you'll find a note. You pick it up. And now you have the wish written here. I wish to see the ghost. Using this wish triggers a summoning ghost event at the ghost's current location. And at the same time, your own view will be obscured by a very dark fog. You can basically, can basically see within like one meter from you. Oh, hello. <laughs> and after that, the ghost will disappear and start a cursed hunt. Okay, no, no nice, not nice at all, right? <laughs> and after that hunt is over, your vision will be back to normal. So in that sense, quite nice, but uh, yeah, the cursed hunt. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So let's go ahead and use this wish. I wish to see the ghost. See, breaks the finger. Yeah, you can basically see one to two meters in front of you. Five seconds. This starts a... It starts a, um, a little bit of a curse hunt, which is not nice. And yeah, you can't see shit, right? And one in a hunt is over, as you can see here. Our wish gen is back to normal. You can see the beautiful house of six time we drive again. My favorite map, if I'm being honest with you. So the next wish we have, I wish for activity. Or I wish the ghost would do something. Both works the, just the same. But I like to say I wish for activity. It sounds a little bit more uh, spooky, right? A little bit more spicy. So that wish can be found. Or like that tag of the wish can be found in the chapel 
inside the meadows. And you'll find it right here on the podium. So just pick that one up. And there you have I wish for activity. Just as you can see written down here. So when you do that wish, it will double all the Legos activity, including touching doors, throwing things, abilities, etc. You, you, you know the uh, basic ghost activity as you get on a day to day basis in this game. But after using it, the backside is the fuse box will permanently break, okay? <laughs> permanently. And the exit door will also be locked for two minutes. Does that sound that nice? No, it doesn't. So be, be careful what you wish for. But now we are going to wish it. So I wish for activity. Luckily, we have night vision. <laughs> so we don't need no fuse box. But as you can see here, it is now broken. You cannot use it. And oh no, I want to live this very scary haunted place. You can't. You can't. Unless you spice things up, but that will come in the future. And I will show you how to live in any scenario. It doesn't matter. You, you will be able to live. Yeah. Yeah, but that will come in the future. Don't you worry. So next up we have, I wish the ghost was trapped. This wish can be found in the female dorm, which I'll show you where it is right now. So before the chapel, you just take a right, follow along this long ass corridor. Then you come to two rooms here. You want to gonna want to choose the left one. This is a female dorm. And here you have the type for the monkey paw. I wish the ghost was trapped and it will be noted in the book as well. So this wish teleports the ghost to its favorite room, the ghost room, and will trap it there for one minute, locking all of the all of the doors leading into that room so you will see you know you know when you have a hunt and you get a lock on the door where on the on the exit door when you're trying to escape and you're like oh fuck it's something <laughs> that is, that symbol will be on any door that is linked to the uh, ghost room when when you have trapped it and during this period you're completely safe from the ghost it cannot hunt it cannot roam it cannot use any ability the issue is with this one it will also lock all of the doors of the user's current room as well which means that you and the ghost will be trapped at the same time and after that one minute period all of the doors will unlock and the ghost will start a cursed hunt mm, yeah that is the backside of this wish. And also, there's a 25% chance for doors to unlock only after the grace period. So let's use this wish. I wish the ghost was trapped. It's here. Locks the door. Shit, we cannot escape. Now, we go around until we find the ghost room. This, this door can't be opened, but you get a lock on it. It is very useful when you have bigger maps. You have a lot of people that can go around and just check any door. And then you'll know where the ghost is. And if you want to be extra safe and don't have the cursed hunt, use a tier 3 crucifix. If you utilize a little trick that I will show you, you can live before the one minute period is up. And you see, burn the crucifix as well. And that is that wish. Moving over to the next wish. I wish for sanity, which can be found. Still, of course, at this beautiful and not at all menacing place in the kitchen. So just enter this beautiful place. Go around here. You have a courtyard basically up here in the middle. Go around that. As you can see, this courtyard. Just go around it. Don't go in the first door, not the second door, when you reach the end, but the third door. Here, you have the kitchen. Right in front of you here, you'll have the wish. I wish for sanity. This wish will set every player's sanity to 50%. Everyone in the group that you're playing with. It doesn't matter if they're in their house or outside. Everyone's sanity will be at 50%. But the issue is the passive sanity drain. You know, you know that sanity, the sanity drain that can happen just while you're... In the house, the ghost isn't doing anything, but you still, your sanity is slowly draining. That is multiplied by 1.5. So if you're playing at a 200% sanity drain speed, you multiply it by 1.5, 300%. That is quite a lot, right? Yeah, your sanity will go up where it will drain a lot quicker than before. And the issues or the backsides does not stop there. Because, for, for example, if you have this as a ghost room, but then you do that wish, a new ghost room will be completely randomized from the available rooms, of course. It's quite annoying because you need to find the new ghost room again, which will drain your sanity. And yeah, it is useful, but um, the backside is quite hefty on this one. So... Here we are the ghost room. Let's use this wish and see what happens. By the way, this wish also works for I wish to be sane. I wish for sanity. So it breaks the finger. The temp starts going up. The ghost isn't here anymore. And it has moved to a new random uh, random room on this map. And as you can see here, every sanity, 50%. So next up we have the wish. I wish to be safe. Which can be found in the first matron's office of uh, Sunday Meadows. So just go into the map. Down into the basement. Go into the door that is in front of you. And right here, you'll have... I wish to be safe. Also now written in your journal. So this wish will unblock the nearest hiding spot on the map, which is blocked, of course. So for example, you can see the wardrobe is a hiding spot, but there's a lot of boxes here preventing you from going. This is a blocked hiding spot. So when using it, yeah, as I said, unblocking the hiding spot, the nearest one. But the, the lights in that room 
will all shatter. And also the person wishing to be safe. Oh, trust me, you are not safe anymore. Because for the rest of the contract, the ghost is able to both sense electronics and your voice from any distance doesn't matter where it is on the map you can play a much bigger map than this it can be on, on the top floor and you can be in the basement the ghost can still sense you exact your exact position so if you're in a hiding spot you are screwed <laughs> if you use electronics or talk so think think of like a diogen can always sense you but this ghost does not slow down <laughs> if it isn't a deal of course so let us um do this wish i wish to be safe see Shatter the lights. This doesn't work anymore. This doesn't work anymore. But we have a hiding spot. So in that sense, it is quite nice. But as I said, the ghost is able to hear us and sense electronics from wherever it is. So also there are quite the big drawback. So the next wish, this is a little bit of a... Um, you, you feel like you're hacking in Phasmophobia. And then in that sense, it's very, very nice. This one you will find in the hospital wing. Feels nice and safe, right? No. It's horrible. So first of all, you're gonna need to go down into the basement. Then here, you take a left. Unlock this one. Now you've entered the hospital wing. This isn't a nice place at all. And right on this bed, almost halfway in, you'll have the next wish. I wish to live. You know, you know, when you know when you play Monopoly, this is basically the uh, get out of jail free card of uh, Phasmophobia. <laughs> it is legendary. So, I've already hyped this one up quite a lot, saying that this is the get out of jail free card. It deserves all the hype. This wish will unlock every single exit door if they're locked, of course, including during hunts it is fantastic right the drawback on this one is that the user speed will be reduced but slowly returning over a five second period their vision will also be reduced for this duration but also slowly coming back on a five second period this is a fantastic one okay it is a legendary so Im imagine if it is hunting you're panicking the door can't unlock it it is you panic you know the ghost is coming for you i wish to live oh our vision is reduced. We're very slow. But we can open the door and we can live. <laughs> Even though we were locked into the room. See? No sun to drain either. It's perfect. The next wish we have. I wish for life or I wish to revive my friend. Both works, but I like to say I wish for life. I'm a sucker for a bit of drama. <laughs> this wish can be found in Sun Meadow's classroom. So to find your classroom, just go again into this beautiful place. Take a left, go through this door. Do not go into the uh, the mail wing. Don't go in here, but you can't. So don't, don't try to crawl underneath. And not this door, but the door after that. Here you have the classroom. And right here you have I wish for a life. This is also a very legendary one, I have to say. And you have it now noted down in the notebook as well. So, this wish will revive a deceased player. I mean, isn't that fantastic, right? The issue is with this one, the drawback. There's a 50% chance that the wisher, the person holding the monkey paw wishing to uh, revive, dies. Or should we do... dies. I would, to showcase this one, as you can see, I am all alone. It doesn't work if no other player is dead. But I'm going to bring up a clip from a recent community day we had on Twitch. If you haven't already, go ahead and follow the Twitch, okay? Next up, we might have one of the most popular ones, but at the same time, the one that just screws you over completely. But it is very funny to troll your friends with it. That is... There's like the one, the one actual use of this wish. Now, it's okay in other ways as well. But it is, I wish for knowledge. And that can be found in the restricted area of uh, Sunny Meadows. If that doesn't sound menacing to you at all, I don't even know. It is, oof, it is not a nice place. So you just, you just go down into the basement, casually. I don't know why I'm holding a fucking lantern like we're playing Amnesia. <laughs> I just thought it uh, kind of fit the vibe, at least. So yeah, take a right, go through that door. And then here you have this menacing looking ass door. This is a restricted area. As you can see, quite a lot of blood on the floor, etc. It ain't nice, this place. You just open a random door, yeah. You, you understand why this is restricted, right? Even more in here, maybe. So about at the uh, halfway mark, as the same as um, the hospital wing, we have I wish for knowledge. Also now written down as the last wish of your journal, but we have... We have some extra ones, okay? Before we continue with the Wish for Knowledge, if you like this content or just want to join an amazing small community that we have here, subscribe. <laughs> Also, join the Discord. It is linked in the description. It is quite legendary. I don't say so. I love it. <laughs> I love it very much. I'm not biased at all, though. But yeah, subscribe, join the Discord. Mwah! Let's get going with I wish for knowledge. This wish will eliminate one piece of evidence from the journal and also its associated ghosts. So, for example, you can eliminate ghost orbs and it will also then remove all of the ghosts associated to the ghost orbs. Quite obviously, right? But this wish might come with the highest cost yet of any wish that we've had thus far. It eliminates one piece of evidence. That is quite nice, right? And it's associated ghosts. But 
the drawbacks. Here we go. So first of all, the ghost initiates a cursed hunt in a close proximity to the users. And when the wish is granted, it feels like you're in some sort of a box because you can't hear shit. You will have very diminished auditory perception and your vision oh my god it will be fully impaired you honestly yeah as i said you will feel like you're in like small crowd space it will just yeah mm, it ain't nice at all it ain't nice at all and the two ways that you can get rid of this is either one by dying and then it disappears it is quite nice because not the nice but yeah you understand what i mean either by that or the conclusion of the round so here we go i hope the crucifixes are put down close enough otherwise uh we're quite screwed and this only works with tier three by the way because tier three can stop curse hunts. i wish for knowledge oh i hate this one you see what i'm talking about <laughs> Uh, where's the light switch you see you can barely see anything it is horrendous unless it is like lit up but this is you can't hear shit you can't hear anything at all i mean the night vision makes it okay but uh let's let's live this horrendous place the biggest issue is big that you barely can hear anything so you can't know anything about the ghost but we now know that we can't have dots so in that sense it is quite nice because you basically eliminated half of the ghosts is it worth it hell nah is it worth to have your beginner friend do it Hell yes. <laughs> but yeah, let us uh, regain our all of our sanity and everything, because oh my god. And now we're back to normal. But this one is quite legendary. As you can still find it in Sunny Meadows, though, in the morgue this time. Hmm. Nice, right? No. So the morgue is located, as you might have expected, in the hospital wing, in like the, the, the furthest back room. So let's go down to the basement again. Down here into the hospital wing, as I showed you before. And let's go down as far as you can in this corridor. And here you have the morgue. You have two different doors, but both leads to the morgue. This say in a nice place. And yeah, I ever got to say what the wish was. <laughs> the wish is I wish for and then insert weather. That is why you have five different notes here because there are five different types of weather. So we can either have I wish for sunrise, my favorite one. It is so cozy. I wish for fog. I wish for clear sky. I wish for snow and I wish for rain. You can be heavy and light rain. So this wish, as you might already have deduced from the names of the wishes, it changes to the weather you desire. And when you wish for rain, it can be a 50% chance of either light or heavy rain so yeah bit of a coin flip between those and the, and the drawback of this one isn't as major as the wish for knowledge it is just that you you get caused temporarily blindness while the weather changes so a short period of time and it also removes 25 percent sanity from the user not everyone else so imagine we say we have heavy rain you're not a person that really enjoys the rain you like i don't know maybe maybe sunrise maybe something like that i wish for sunrise so temporarily blindness while the weather changes and now we have sunrise look at this beautiful wow it's so nice and it's so cozy that is the idea of uh, the monkey it is legendary especially if you have like snow and you're on an outside map and you have a monkey paw wish for sunrise because it makes life so much easier and because this removes 25 percent sanity you cannot use it below 25 percent sanity so next up if you're a person that likes to do a little bit of gambling this lost wish will will be perfect for you and that wish is i wish for anything <laughs> This wish can be found in the waiting room. And the waiting room is located just in here. And then to the right here. And right on top of this table. I wish for anything. So this wish randomly grants one of the unused wishes that I've talked about before. Um, yeah, that's about it. There's no drawback here. You just get a random one. And you get that drawback. So I wish for anything. So this wish was a trap to ghost. But I wish to live. Oh, that wasn't scary at all. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, that's the idea of I wish for anything. And that is it for today. If you enjoyed today's video and want to see me go over every single one of the ghost hidden abilities, well, why don't you give a like? Because if this video hits 30 likes, we will be going over every single curse possession in Phasmophobia. There's six more, so yeah, it's quite nice, I'd say. And if you want to see more content like this, or just join an amazing small community that we have here, go ahead and subscribe. Worst my heart so, so much, and yeah, when I'm recording this, I just hit 200 subs, and oh my god, I'm so happy about it. I'm so, so happy about it. So yeah, thank you for being your absolutely amazing person. I appreciate every single one of you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.